badass shapeshifter he is. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Sugarman Build-A-Figure Wave Sunfire. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at- Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're over there, please go ahead and reach over and hit that like button and the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to x 87 and Justine for making this review possible. Check them out. Links in the description below. And you can see we get the X-Men text and it says Sunfire right there on the side. You can see the Age of Apocalypse Sunfire and there's Apocalypse. And then right here on the back, you can see a product shot. There's a read up over there. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. There's Sunfire and Apocalypse again. And then we get the spot varnished Age of Apocalypse. Apocalypse logo on the top, not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> So once again, we don't get any accessories for Sunfire. I'll talk about that more very soon. And I do like that in Age of Apocalypse that the characters are not so different from how we remember them in the 616. That's one thing I really like about the Sunfire is that he's still so mad! And due to Rogue having to calm him down, we do get to see the origin story of Sunfire or the source of his rage for Nemesis or Holocaust anyway, who is his main antagonist. And I gotta say, dude, this head sculpt looks great at first i didn't think we needed a new aoa sunfire but you know once you get the stcc exclusive one out over here oh man especially the way the flame comes up over the top right over here i'm just not a big fan of that and this is very opaque paint whereas this is all translucent plastic right over here i mean if you put some light behind it it really shines man that is sick i mean you may have already seen it in the thumbnail but still oh goodness you can get the translucent plastic all the way throughout on the figure that is so cool, man. But I love the fire sculpt on this. It looks really good. It doesn't stand too tall. It's not so weird like how it is with this one. This one's almost like some kind of ceremonial hat or something. It just looks kind of bizarre. But this looks a whole lot better to me. It's not overdone. I like the fade of yellow to orange right there. That looks cool. This whole piece right here is new. I like this. I don't remember seeing this on another figure at first. I thought it was the same little piece that they added for the Human Torch, but it's not. You can see how it's all attached to the collar right over here. And then they did use the Sunfire body mold. Well, the original Sunfire body mold, you know what I'm saying. And then you can see that we do get black paint throughout on the translucent yellow plastic. And then these arms right here are the same as Human Torch, the Walgreens exclusive Human Torch. And yeah, again, we didn't get any accessories. Now, if you wanted to grab some of the flame effects that we'd gotten from Human Torch and Sunfire in the past, you know, that will fit on the fist. You can do that. I wish it at least came with these. And if I were to talk to Hasbro right now, I... I'm 99% sure the answer will be, well, would you like two less arms for your Sugar Man? Because we put a lot of money into that Sugar Man, and that's why you can't have any accessories for your figures. I bet that's the answer, right? I'll ask them in person or hopefully on a Zoom interview one day. That would be pretty cool. But anyway... The black paint looks good on the figure. There are just very few little parts where it falls short. Like right there, you can see some splotching. Right there, you can see it missing. And then, you know, there's some parts on the legs and stuff. But it looks pretty good, man. I'm happy with the paint apps on this. At first, I, I just really didn't care to have this figure. And then, oh, you can see the paint getting all choppy right over there. You do get some uh, paint right there on the Nagas that does have a crease in it. Unlike the Jean Grey figure right here. What the heck is up with that, Hasbro? Huh? So all the mans could have a big old deep butt crack over here, but not the women? Oh, come on. Uh, all right, rant over. Anyway, I do like how this looks right here, even though that's missing a tiny little spot. So really like how the figure came out. This translucent yellow just looks really good, man. It just looks better than the previous version, which I liked before. I picked this up not reading all of AOA, and I just thought it was a really cool design. So I picked this up a while ago. This isn't a recent purchase or anything. So yeah, uh, having it again, I was like, ah, I don't need it. But yeah, now that I've been playing with the figure, I like this newer one. So we get all the articulation that we'd expect to see on this figure. The head does shift forward and back only a little bit like a pile driver, but he will look up that much, which is great. You know, especially with all the fire right over here. So good looking up motion, you know, and you can move the head downward. You get side to side motion right here. No head pivoting. You do get the butterfly joints. Shoulders move outward, down, rotate a full 360 bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist turn side to side, hinge up and down on both sides, ab crunch forward, back, waist swivel, hips move outward that far, kicks forward, kicks back, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot rotation or calf rotation, ankles move down, 
up and ankle pivot. Now to measure out this new Sunfire figure, you could see that to the top of those flames, he's at seven inches tall to the top of the head, just a little under the six and a half inch mark. And then for a Sunfire comparison, we have our 616 version next to the Age of Apocalypse version right here. And I like both of these. I mean, again, the character is very similar, right? Very angry. And then for your Age of Apocalypse Sunfire comparison, we have our new Sugar Man Build-A-Figure Wave version next to the San Diego Comic-Con 2008 Toy Fair Fans Choice version right over here. And again, I think these are both good figures. At first, I was bummed out about this release because I think this is still a good figure. And if it was the only AOA Sunfire in our collection and we had gotten a different character instead of getting another one right over here, I would have thought, oh, that's cool. We can add more characters. But now that I have this in hand, I like this version so much more than this one. I'm happy to have it. Ah, oh, jeez, action figures, they make me go crazy. And then here's Sunfire next to one of his astonishing X-Men teammates. We have Blink, and I did order an AOA Sabretooth online two different times, and the post office has failed me both times. But hey, you know what? Uh, we're going through hard times, right? Bigger things to complain about than not getting your acting figures. <laughs> and then here's Sunfire next to his nemesis, Nemesis, or Holocaust. I have to still say Holocaust, or else even after 10 years of talking about this character, people will think I don't know he's called Holocaust. And then here's Sunfire next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have Weapon X, Jean Grey, Dark Beast, and Morph. Then here's Sunfire next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider-Man. Whoa. It is hot in here. Jeez. Ooh. Stomach is kind of real. Oh, milk was a bad choice. <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed this video, I wish you'd do me a big favor and hit a couple of buttons before you leave, like hitting the like button, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support the channel via crowdfunding. But if you could also support this channel by hitting that subscribe button, that would mean a lot. I was checking my analytics the other day, and it looks like, like there's half of you guys that don't hit the subscribe button, so hit that button already. But yeah, anyway, this figure right here is pretty awesome. It won me over. I didn't want to have it, and I wasn't wasn't that excited for it in the first place and actually playing with it getting it in hand taking a lot of photos of it i had a really good time with this figure man so yes i recommend it at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks i'm gonna give it a sun rating of it's not so bad and i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comments section below if you want to check out the latest marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com and don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter twitch and tiktok and i'll catch you guys later peace <laughs> Action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.